we're going to try here today is to do some marbling on these little boxes that I made earlier. So in order to get started, when you marble, you're supposed to cover your media with alum. This is like a quarter of a cup of alum in a quart of water. And you have to float your paints in a, in a syrupy medium. And this is called kappa carrageenan. Made from seaweed, refined seaweed. And it's a medium that has the consistency of a light syrup. And for paints, we're going to use a uh, acrylic paint. These are airbrush colors. And it tells you to make your paint about as thick as whole milk. So they have to be pretty thin. Now airbrush colors are pretty thin to start with. So we're going to try that and if it needs to be thinned more with water, I'll add some water. We're going to try blue, yellow, and black. I'm putting these in little cups so I can thin them with water if I, if I need to. Like the black seems pretty thick. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to the black to thin it out. Now they recommend, what I've done is I've taken the jam chuck and put it on the body so that when I put it in I don't get paint on the inside of the box because I plan to try to roll this along the surface and pick up that paint. One thing I just made was a, a little comb out of nails in the end of a piece of wood. Let's see if we can kind of do that later. They recommend using a eye draw paint onto the carrageenan. I don't have one so I'm going to use this little uh, squeeze bottle. And what I ought to see is I ought to see the paint disperse across the top of the water just like it is. This might be a little thin. Anyhow, I have a couple of these squeeze bottles. And I'm going to put the blue on next. This is a little bit thicker than the black, so it should float and stay in the middle. And in the middle of that, I'm going to put some yellow. Okay, and so I'm going to take my comb now and come this way. Come around and come this way. Then I'm going to come this way. And make kind of a spider web pattern. Now I'm going to roll the piece across the pattern and see if I can pick it up. And put it in the water wash off the excess. Then I'll set it aside to dry. And while that's drying, I'll take the top, see my fingers, and put it straight down in. Rock it around. Cover the edges. And rinse it off.
Well, that's number one. Now to get rid of the paint to start the next one, I can take a strip of newspaper and lay it on the surface. It should pick up most of the paint. When it doesn't pick up, I can scoot to the, to the side. All that paint is already sunk below the surface. So this time we're going to try a similar thing we'll do. Uh, I'll make the black a little thicker. red and yellow. And we we'll go back with some uh, yellow. So this one I'm just going to do it just like that, close that. Rinse it off. So the side to dry. The alum is it's considered a mordant. And mordant is something that sets a dye, uh, so it keeps it, uh, makes it stick to the surface and stay there. And that's why we can rinse it off without wiping off all the paint. So I'm just experimenting with this marbling stuff now. This is new to me, and I don't feel like I've got it figured out yet exactly, but I've talked to people <laughs> who do a lot of marbling, and their uh, reply is generally keep trying and experimenting and eventually you'll find something that works. I might also add that the Kappa carrageenan is bought as a powder and you mix one tablespoon and one teaspoon to a half gallon of water in a blender and then um, let it sit for a day in the refrigerator before you use it. The alum is much easier. You just mix a quarter of a cup to a uh, quart of water. And you can get both of those online under marbling supplies. Well, here are the uh, marbled ring boxes that we made yesterday. They're kind of funky. Uh, but I thought I made a couple more and I thought we'd try again today and see if we can get some of the uh, patterns people talk about in uh, marbling. So anyhow, uh, I put a coat of lacquer on these and then buffed them out with the Beale system. And they look pretty funky, but uh, somebody will like them. Okay, so today we're going to uh, try again. I'm going to try a little different technique. I'm going to put the paint in using a skewer stripping it in in a beta carriage in. The red is obviously thicker than the yellow was. I'm 
going to try putting less paint in too, so we'll set the red down a minute. Roll the yellow inside the red. Get some uh, patterns going here. Ring box that I made out of uh, basswood and I coated it with alum. So I'm going to put that in there and just roll it across the surface. it off. And set it aside to dry. Now another one, and instead of starting all over, I'm just going to put a few more, put some green in there. box and see what we can pick up with that. Rinse it off. And this looks much more like the marbling that I thought we might get yesterday. I'll set that aside to dry. Here's the other one I just did. There's not much color on that side, but it'll come out when it's finished. So there's another try at marbling. There's a video online by Al Sturt that you can look up. I'll put the URL in the, in the, in the uh, movie. And if you've done this and, and know a better way to do it, please contact me and let me know how you do it and uh, the kind of results that you get. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get notifications when new, movie, new movies are uh, put online.